I'm Chris Anderson at the EE Web Tech Lab, and today I'm going to demonstrate a simple Internet of Things scenario that monitors the potential injuries of construction workers on a job site. I'll show you how to quickly get data from a TI SimpleLink Bluetooth Low Energy Sensor Tag into the Watson IoT platform. If you don't already have a sensor tag, it's a $29 demo platform that gives you a bunch of sensor data and lets you get it up to the cloud seamlessly, making it perfect for IoT examples. Once the data is into the Watson IoT platform, I'll use Node-RED to analyze and react to the data. Node-RED is a visual development environment built into the Watson IoT platform that lets you quickly wire together your IoT apps while writing little to no code. For the demo, I have the sensor tag attached to this hard hat. The Watson IoT platform will collect data from the sensor tag, such as orientation and acceleration. It will then use analytics to determine if a construction worker has fallen or has been hit by debris, and alert supervisors to potential injuries on the job. So let's start by connecting the sensor tag to my iPhone. And so this is the TI sensor tag app, and of course sensor tag 2.0 is the device that we want. We'll go to sensor view. And this is where you can see all the data that's coming in from the sensors. And so there's a couple keys on here that we can, uh, buttons that we can push. Um, temperature, humidity, barometer, and motion is what we're primarily interested in. And you can see if I move the hard hat, you'll see the accelerometer data, the magnetometer data might change. Um, but so that's the data that we're gonna be acting on. There are some other here as well, light sensor, um, battery level. But what we want to do is say push to cloud and we can come in here and edit our cloud configuration. And so there is mine for the IBM uh, Watson IoT service. Go ahead and select push to cloud. Um, you'll see over here that we have data coming in and this is uh, all the data from the sensor. And so if I move this around, um, you'll see the acceleration data changing. And that's the data that for this particular application we're interested in. So let's go through this flow really quick. So this first one is the node that filters out the device data that's coming in. So you can filter by device type. Uh, in this case, I have it set up to filter by device ID. And so it will only pass data that comes into the Watson IoT platform that matches the device ID for this sensor tag. Um, but again, there are other ways to filter that to do uh, more flexible implementations. And then we're gonna go into this function node here, and all this does is pull the acceleration data and uh, returns the max value. So nothing too complicated there. And we see a threshold where if it's above a certain value, it will continue on this top path. I don't have anything going if it doesn't. Um, in that case, it comes in and it pulls the device ID and returns that, and it sends it over to a database that I have set up with uh, some information for some device IDs, including names and, and those types of things. So it pulls from that database, um, in this case, a fictitious employee name. And the important thing is that if it's detected an acceleration event above that threshold, it'll go and hit that database to grab the name, and it will then send an alert using Twilio to that person's supervisor's phone number. And so with this all set up, if we really want to push this, um, I should go ahead and get a text on my phone. So for the purpose of the demo, remember we need to get above a threshold of 2G's. So if we scroll down here to monitor our acceleration data, uh, we also are trying to protect against falls and impacts. So we'll start out with a fall. So you can see here our message that comes from my Twilio trial account, Wilson's acceleration critical 5.01. Now the other thing we want to protect against is impacts. You know, construction is a dangerous job and there are a lot of moving things and we want to make sure that Wilson is safe in that environment. So to test for impacts, we have our engineering hammer. And so you can see that, again, Wilson's in trouble, uh, registered slightly lower acceleration, um, but that's why it's so important to have that threshold set correctly because obviously whether he falls uh, from the top of a building 
or gets hit by an I-beam that's moving through the air, uh, we want to make sure that Wilson is safe. With this demo, you can see how easy and quick it is to get TI's sensor tag connected to the Watson IoT platform, allowing you to gather and act on data in the cloud. For more information on this example and others using TI hardware with Watson IoT, and to register for a no-charge 30-day trial of the Watson IoT platform, go to ibm.co slash iot-partners-ti.